Hey fellow beauty finders, this is Matthias Allen. Thanks so much for clicking on my new video. So as you know, I've been working with Muse Beauty Pro for the last year and I am their YouTube ambassador. So I wanna bring some of their incredible products available at musebeauty.pro to you. And I'm gonna educate you on how they work and what is so fantastic about them. So in today's makeup demo, I'm gonna be showing you the Viseart Corrector Camouflage Palette. This is a fantastic product from the line Viseart, which is incredible. It is one of my favorite products from their line. You can do so many different things with this. And if you are a professional makeup artist or on your way to be, this is a must have tool in your arsenal. And I'm gonna show you step by step exactly how it works. All right, so for those of you up-and-coming makeup artists or pro makeup artists who have not tried the Viseart Corrector Palette, definitely please give it a shot. It is a really incredible palette, which comes with 12 shades, which range from light to dark. You can do almost any skin tone with it. And the quality of the product is amazing. It's a waxed-based formula, which makes it waterproof, sweat-proof, and great for all skin types. Now, I want to show you using a synthetic brush from the Esam Vegan Brush Collection, which just premiered over the summer. I'm putting the product on the eye and under the eye, and then I'm switching the concealer brush brush. The reason that I switch the brush is because if I were to only use the original concealer application tool, I wouldn't be able to get the concealer that's sitting on the face to blend out and diffuse. So by taking the foundation brush that I originally applied the foundation with, I'm actually going to blend the edges of where I want the concealer to blend into the cheekbone or up onto the eye or in the inner corner. So it's a way of diffusing the product by switching switching up your brushes. Now you do want to set this with powder and I will show you exactly what kind of powder I like to use, but first I wanted you to see how natural and flawless it looks before I do. So next I want to show you a really great trick with this rusty red color. Now if you're working on a darker skinned client, this would make a great color corrector for a purple under eye circle. But on a light skinned client or a medium skinned client like my client Veronica, who just saw herself in the monitor and was laughing because she was like, what are you doing to my cheeks? This actually makes a really great cheek blush. Now the reason it makes a great cheek blush is because it adds warmth back into the skin. Now you can add bronzer on top of this if you want to tone down the rust and you can even pop on like a pink or a pinky shimmer on top of this if you want to bring out the rosiness into the cheeks but what I love about putting this on the cheeks is that it is going to last a very long time because of the ingredients in the corrector palette which are meant to be waterproof sweat proof and last extremely long on the surface of the skin now another trick that I like to do with this color is actually pop a little bit on the eyelid. Now I'm a huge fan of cream eyeshadows. For those of you who follow me on my YouTube channel, you know I always use cream shadows before any other powder eyeshadows because they make the eye color last much longer. But if you're just doing a very natural look for a television or a film, this is a beautiful way to bring out the eye color without adding a lot of eyeshadow. Next, I want to show you the Ket Cosmetics Colorless Translucent Powder. This is also available at MuseBeauty.pro. It's a fantastic loose powder. It works on all skin tones. It really does. And it's completely invisible on the surface of the skin, which is why I absolutely love it. And I'm showing you now how I like to blend powder starting on the temple, going down into the chin, across the cheeks, and then on top of the eye and under the eye as well. But be very, very aware that when you do any kind of powder on the eyelid, if you've put any type of cream or concealer, you need to get rid of the creases first. So I just took one of the Esam concealer brushes to swab away any of the creasing, and then I'm powdering it with more of the powder on the eyelid. Now, most people would stop there, but I like to go the extra mile and make sure that my concealer does not crease. So I'm taking another Esam 